Hi everyone, very warm welcome to the next session of SAP FSM. So today we are going to talk about data loader. Now guys, whenever there is SAP FSM implementation or SAP FSM projects, I'm sure you might have a scenario where business wants to upload their legacy system data into FSCP, SAP FSM. Okay, so, uh, so yes, again, this functionality is definitely supported in SAP FSM. Uh, so there is a concept of a data loader with the help of which you will be able to upload the data into respective object. I think there is one important thing which you need to remember. It's not that straightforward. Okay. Some people just think that, okay, so there will be an Excel. You will be able to just fill the data and you will be able to upload it. So not everything works that fairy. Uh, but uh, I would might be just give you this some kind of a blog. Okay. So where it just talks about different kind of error code, which is you... Uh, you get when you just try to upload a data okay so it becomes very very important that you look at some kind of issues or how to actually fix those issues uh, now when i say about uh, error messages in S, uh, in sap fsm while using this data loader one thing you have to remember the data model okay the data model of sap fsm is very critical so anyone who is coming from a f uh, SAP background, so he understand, okay, so there is an object, this is how it's being designed, or how the, the data structure look like. If you look at any SAP application, which is like uh, completely developed by SAP, okay, like homegrown. So the data model or the understanding is very, very same across uh, all the applications. But when you talk about a company like SAP FSM, which, which was a core system acquired by uh, SAP, now the data model is very different. So you have to understand data model, then only you'll be able to upload the data smoothly into SAP FSM. So this is a very, very critical, your understanding of the data model. Now, important thing is how it looks into the system so now let me just show you how it looks like so this is the option of data loader which is available into the master data now what you can do is you will be able to look at the object type now let's say if you want to upload customer product contact addresses anything so you just choose that specific object now let's say my way for this particular case i'm just gonna do the equipment i can quickly click on the download template here okay so you can download as a csv xls and xlx so you can click on this download template so once this templates get downloaded the beauty here is the first record might be as if we will give you some kind of uh as as a record or as a like a dummy record so that you have understanding how it look likes okay and wherever you see the star mark it means that that uh, field is is a mandatory one now for uh, equipment this is how my uh, excel look like so once you're able to fill the data okay then what you can do is you can just load that particular file then i think it depends what kind of a scenario it is if it's a merge or override scenario and once you're able to define that particular part you will be able to click on the import data so that's how i think uh, you will be able to use the functionality of a data loader i think it's a very straightforward functionality but again if you don't understand data model you think just just there is an excel file and i'll upload it without understanding how the relationship is between different objects it would be very very difficult okay uh, so yeah so this was a short uh, session on our data loader part okay and so in case if you're looking to have uh, learn full-fledged this course on SAP FSM, please feel free to reach out to me. This is my WhatsApp number. You can just drop me a text and this is my email ID. Looking forward to have you in our course. Thank you.